From blood and ash, we will rise. Or something like that. So today we're talking about from blood and ash. Uh, this book. Uh, this is a series by Jennifer. That's her last name. But yes, this one is a little different for me. Typically, it is not in a category I read a whole lot of. Uh, romance, fantasy romance uh, kind of thing. But uh, my wife's been getting into reading a lot more lately, and this is a series that we are doing together. It was on her TBR, so we uh, we tackled it together. And let me tell you, I don't regret it. Now, like I said, it is a different category than what I typically read. So don't go into this expecting this. It's, it's not that. And uh, speaking from someone that reads a lot of Brandon Sanderson and similar, uh, the spice level on this is uh, coming from that to that. It's quite the leap. <laughs> I'm just, I'll just say that. But about the book itself, basically following Poppy around is the main character. And you only have one uh, POV in this book. Uh, it's a very limited scope as far as uh, fantasy goes to the point where I really wouldn't even call it uh, an epic fantasy. It technically does fall into the category of high fantasy, but it is a very limited scope. Um, it's first person written, and uh, that's a bit jarring for me. It's not typically my favorites, you know, prose to read, but uh, the author did handle it very well. But yes, you're following Poppy around, and she is the maiden, whatever that is. It's not really clear in the book, kind of part it's a bit of the uh, the mystery plot that you get in there is, is what exactly is the maiden that's all it's really referred to as uh, but she is this prized chosen one by the gods she's kept alone isolated life Let's see what does it actually say in here the, a maiden chosen from birth to usher in a new era poppy's life has never been her own the life of the maiden is solitary, never to be touched, never to be looked upon, never to be spoken to, never to experience pleasure. That changes. Waiting for the day of her ascension, she would rather be with the guards fighting back the evil that took her family than preparing to be found worthy by the gods. But the choice has never been hers. So yeah, that's basically the setup on that is she's a maiden, she's locked away, and that changes. I won't give away too much more on the plot point on that, but honestly, the book's really not about the plot. It's a decent plot, but the plot's really not where this book shines. Um, the world building, again, not the greatest. It's pretty limited scope, uh, at least in this book. In later books, the world is expanded upon a little bit more, uh, but in this one, very limited scope. Um, the plots, it's there. But where she really shines, and this was an enjoyable read for me, is the characters the the way she introduces characters is just on point i cannot say enough good things about how she introduces the characters because from the moment they're introduced you get a sense of them a feel of them and you feel like you know so much about them from a very limited interaction and to be able to pull that off well is not easy so i commend her on that and i actually really like a lot of the characters in this um poppy and hawk and uh i think ryan or raisin or one of the guards names he was awesome uh victor is my absolute favorite he is the the head of the guards and all that and kind of a mentor figure for poppy and his character i just absolutely loved and the the dialogue as well between all the characters but especially uh poppy and the main love interest it is it is banter at its best. If you enjoy banter back and forth between people, um, you know, cut downs left and right, witty commentary, plenty of that in this book. Now I did say the plot wasn't all that well developed, but there were a few cases where I was generally surprised. Like I said, it's not the main draw of the book, but the plot is there. It, it does okay job on it. Uh, but mainly you're reading this for the characters um, and the spice and, uh, yeah, characters are good. Spice is pretty good. Like I say, if you are looking for a book to read uh, with your significant other, I not not a bad idea, not a bad choice. 
there's there's worse things you could do as a uh, as a husband wife book club type thing if you want to do that but yeah that's kind of my rambling thoughts on uh, from blood and ash i'm actually on book three now in the series um and then i'm probably gonna do a video of the whole series once i've caught up on that and overall i think it's a really fun read there's some there's some minor you know flaws and things like that but like if you're just going into it for a fun read well worth the time if you have read it already let me know down in the comments what you think of it very interested to know but as always guys thanks for watching uh if you want more in-depth you know like a full spoiler on uh video about this book let me know i'd be you know happy to make one but other than that guys thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one